87 hertz that is almost equivalent to the 8 kilohertz so the FC will be 8 kilohertz when RH 240 kilo ohm and CH 82 nano farad similarly second order high pass filter can be constructed by cascading or connecting together to first order circuit so if we implement capacitor and the resistance and then again a capacitor and then resistance there will be the output this is the input you can take a C1 R1 C2 R2 V0 and the VIN so now question is what will be the cutoff frequency for the second order filter for the second order filter FC will be equivalent to the 1 upon 2 pi under root R1 C1 and R2 and C2 hertz and if we draw the board plot of the second order filter there will be the FC minus 3 dB cut off but the roll off will be the plus 40 dB per decade ok and this minus 3 dB will not be the same as the first first order filter ok as we have discussed in our previous tutorials there is relation between the second order cutoff frequency and the first order cutoff frequency if we denote this FC as FC2 and the first order cutoff frequency as FC then there will be a relation FC2 is equal to the FC1 into under root 2 power 1 upon n minus 1 so here n is the 2 it will be the FC1 under root 2 minus 1 that is equivalent to the FC1 then under root 0 0.707 sorry uh, there will be the 0. Point, I think root 2 is 1.414 so it will be the 414 so in summary what uh, uh, if we say here in the summary a high pass filter blocks the lower frequency components and it only passes the higher frequency components and this region is known as the pass band this region known as a stop band and at a minus 3 dB cutoff frequency the reactance of the capacitance will be equivalent to the resistance and the output will be leading the input by the 0 degree to the plus 90 degree but at a cutoff frequency output will be leading by the 45 degree of the input and the very common application of this type of the passive filter is in the audio amplifier as a coupling capacitors between two audio amplifier stages to remove the DC components and in speaker systems to direct the higher frequency signals to the smaller Twitter type of speakers while blocking the lower bass signals and also used as a filter to reduce the any low frequency noises or you can say a rumble type of the distortions so the output voltage V out on also depends on the time constant tau RC so the time constant is time which takes the charging and the discharging of the capacitor and it can also shown as a tau is equal to the 1 upon 2 pi F okay so if we take these two equations together we will get f is equal to the 1 upon 2 pi 
RC for a first order filter. Similarly, for the second order filter, there will be under root R1 C1 into R2 C2. There is also another application of this uh, high pass filter. Now we have seen when we applied the sinusoidal input what we will get at the output. But if we applied um, but if we apply pulse wave or a square wave now let's see what we will get into the output so when we apply a pulse wave at the input it is known as a differentiator it differentiate the input okay if we apply here a square wave or on off wave in the output at uh, when it will like something this okay so we'll be getting something like a impulse type of the response as we have already know as uh, we already know if we differentiate the step response we get a impulse response for a very high frequency if we apply very high frequency in the input so the time constant will be the very less so we will get almost means a square wave here okay there will be very little distortion here there will be very little distortion at the corner at a very high frequency something like this huh so this is it for the high pass filter now let's see the into the multi seam first of all we have to choose the capacitor and the resistance so come here into the basic and choose your capacitor place it here and then choose your resistance place a resistance at this point just close it and rotate it by the 90 degree connect it together and just take the input source here the source must be the power supply ground here and then there will be the AC voltage input okay that's it what we need for time being connect capacitor and the voltage source together change it to 1 kilohertz that is fine no problem and see now let's connect the oscilloscope to the input and the output let's change the color of the segment to the new color and now run it see what we are getting here okay just uh, okay sorry sorry just uh, I have forget to change the value of the capacitor and resistors so the C is uh, 82 nano sorry in T2 picofarad in our design and uh, R is 240 kilo ohm, ohm. So at 1 kilohertz we must get a very low in uh, very low output see the output is has been attenuated almost see this is the output scale which has been attenuated now if we increase the frequency to the 10 kilohertz then the output and the input will be the same 
the almost the output and the input is the same okay and uh, if we increase more let's make it uh, 50 kilohertz now see input and output is matching together here just decrease it scaling see output and input is matching together now let's see the board plot of the high pass filter we can get the board plot from here connect it to the input terminal and connect this one with the ground this one with the output and sort together and run it see minus 3 dB frequency must be at 1 kilo sorry at 8 kilohertz let's see 8 kilohertz minus 3 dB where is minus 3 dB see it is almost 8 kilohertz uh, let me set it very precisely I'm sorry I'm unable to set it but you can assume at minus 3 dB frequency there is a 8 kilohertz cutoff so for time being thank you so much for watching this tutorial and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial